Hello, Tino. You've recently become VAA Secretary, and I'd like to introduce you to our members. So we'd like to go through some of your background. What was your previous job before you came and took up the post? Um, most of my career has been in adult education, um, so academic program development, instructional design, um, and a big focus on helping uh, instructors who were used to teaching in the classroom how to use online learning technology. So teaching them not only the technology, but also the kinds of activities um, where you can engage students and make them feel part of the class, even if they're learning at a distance. Uh -huh. We can detect a bit of an accent in your background there. Um, what made you come to Australia? Um, in 2018, my partner had an opportunity. He was recruited for a, um, a great job uh, with an Australian company. And uh, the opportunity was so great that we decided to pursue it. And we thought it would be uh, sort of a great adventure to live in another country. Um, we have since fallen in love with Australia and uh, we became citizens in 2023. Uh -huh. And um, what made you start in bees? Well, um, in Canada, and for the first couple of years in Australia, I lived in cities and really didn't know anything about bees. But in 2021, we um, purchased a rural property here in the Macedon Ranges. And uh, it had a fairly well-established garden. And in fact, part of the property was used as a camellia nursery. So we had a, a great deal of camellia um, trees, shrubs in the, on the property. And I decided that uh, beekeeping was just part of having a healthy garden and a healthy environment. Um, so I found a local beekeeping mentor who set me up with a colony and uh, he would visit every month or so and we would do hive inspections. And since then I've expanded my apiary to three colonies through sw swarm collecting. Um, yeah, so that's how I got involved in bees. And you've recently done the Cert 3, I believe. Yes, I just finished the 12-month Certificate 3 beekeeping uh, program with Melbourne Polytechnic. Uh, it was a great experience and uh, I really enjoyed it. Really built my confidence in dealing with, uh, with beekeeping. We always like to hear funny stories about beekeeping. Have you got one from your experience? <laughs> well, it wasn't funny at the time, but, and I think most beekeepers do this at least once. Uh, but I remember um, preparing for my first solo inspection. So I was very proud of um, my skills and I opened up the hive and I was pleased that the bees were relatively calm. And I started to look at the frames. And then I just noticed that there was um, some loud buzzing right next to my ears. And I realized that there were six or seven bees inside my veil. So in, as part of my preparation, I had forgotten to completely close off my, uh, my veil. And so I got stung several times on my neck and chest, and uh, that was not a pleasant experience. But uh, uh, it, it, it's only happened once since, and uh, I, I was um, mentoring someone else with their beekeeping, and we were having a really good conversation as we were preparing for the inspection. And again, I was so involved in the conversation that I forgot to zip up my veil. Uh, so I got stung again on the cheek. It sounds like a familiar tale to me. and. Uh... We often have to do it several times to prove that, that it's a stupid thing to do. Um, yeah. Do you have any books or podcasts that you'd recommend to our listeners? Yeah, well, um, I think um, the, uh, the Robert Owens book, the, um, the Beekeeping Manual for Australia, is uh, on my desk and I refer to it all the time. I think it's a great resource. Um, um, another book by Thomas Seeley, Honeybee Democracy. Um, I tell people that I had great admiration for bees until I read Honeybee Democracy. And after reading that, I'm completely in awe of the, uh, of the species. They're just incredibly intelligent, well-evolved um, creatures. Um, I listen almost weekly to a podcast from the University of Florida called Two Bees in a Podcast. Uh, very informative, very engaging, and... Um, um, another resource that I find really useful if people are on Instagram is a, a Canadian beekeeper. Um, she has an Instagram account called Rushing River Apiaries. She's in the north part of British Columbia, so deals with challenging weather, 
but um, I really like that she is focused on education. And I think it's really inspiring to watch a beekeeper who's running a healthy, successful apiary, but dealing with Varroa at the same time. And she has healthy, productive hives. Um, and she just manages Varroa in the day-to-day the -day, uh, course of running her apiary. So uh, it's inspiring to see that as we begin our challenge of dealing with this, uh, this parasite. Right, yes, I'm sure we'll learn to live with it. Uh, the rest of the world has done, yeah. Interesting. Um, okay, let's move on to your role with the VAA now. So um, what do you most enjoy about working as the secretary for the VAA? Well, uh, something I noticed is, as I began beekeeping is that there's a really strong sense of community. And um, I like the fact that I'm able to help an organization who is here to support beekeepers all across the state. Um, the work is very varied. Every day is different. Um, some days I'm helping members with their membership or um, uh, questions about events. Um, I do quite a bit of work in helping organize the events, like the conferences that we're running. Um, and uh, I've played um, quite a big role in the rollout of the new branding. So uh, updating the website and uh, dealing with the, uh, the new uh, assets that we need with the, the new logos. Right, okay. And what do you see as the next biggest challenge for VAA over the next couple of years? Well, statistics show that when Varroa arrives in a country or a region, that beekeepers um, tend to leave the hobby or, or leave the business. And I think uh, we have a role to play to uh, support our members and, and all beekeepers so that they have the confidence, they have the information, and they have the sense of support and community so that they um, remain resilient and um, continue beekeeping um, through the challenges that we're going to face over the next few years. But it, it, the challenges are not insurmountable, and I think we can get through this together. And I think the VA is well positioned to support beekeepers through this next phase. Okay, anything else you'd like to add? Um, just recommend to anyone who uh, is listening who isn't part of a bee club, uh, to, to join a bee club. The bee clubs are just such great places to learn and to share. Um, I belong to the Wooden Bee Friendly Society. Um, we get 40 to 50 people out every month to our meetings and uh, every conversation I have, every meeting I attend, um, I learn something new and um, it's a great way to be a better beekeeper and uh, strengthen this community. Okay, well, th look, thank you, Tino. Um, that's a great Meet the Members session, and I think we're very fortunate to have you on board, and it's you're making a big difference to the VAA, and um, oh, thank you, Mark. It, it, it's great to have you on board. So thanks for the interview, and uh, we'll sign off for this. Thank you. Thanks.